Today, I bring you 100 things that were added in Minecraft 1.19. In this video, I'll be covering all the new biomes, the new mobs, the new items, and much, much more in the wild update. Anyways, here we go. The first feature added in the 1.19 wild update is the addition of a new boat type known as the boat with a chest. That's right, combining a boat and chest in a crafting table allows you to travel across water in a boat while storing additional items in a chest. You could say this item is the best. Get it? Combine the words boat and chest and you get best? Sort of? Let's just move on. The next addition to the wild update is a new tree type that is known as the mangrove tree. So the mangrove tree looks like this, displaying a unique shape compared to other trees in Minecraft. Mangrove trees are also supported by these new blocks known as mangrove roots, which closely resemble leaves. Like all trees, mangrove logs, which look beautiful by the way, can be crafted into planks, which can then give the player the respective blocks such as slabs, stairs, boats, and much, much more. Mangrove trees can also generate with mangrove propagules attached to the leaves. These propagules can be planted just like saplings and will eventually grow into a mangrove tree, but if it's taking too long, just use some bone meal. The next feature added in the 1.19 wild update is the addition of two new biomes, and those biomes are the following. The first biome added is the mangrove swamp, which looks like this. This biome is composed of tealed coloured water, mud blocks, mangrove trees, and most importantly, frogs. The second new biome added in the 1.19 wild update is a biome known as the Deep Dark. Originally planned for the cave update, the Deep Dark is a cave biome that's only found near the bottom of the overworld. The scary biome consists of the new skulk blocks that when walked on enough times will trigger the new mob that I'm sure a lot of you are aware of. Now that we've briefly covered the biomes, let's talk about the four new mobs that can spawn within them. So the first new mob added in the wild update is the addition of frogs. Now frogs look like this and love to eat baby slimes and magma cubes, which is just so sad to witness, man. I'm going to bed. <clears throat> Anyways, frogs have five hearts of health and come in three different variants, which are temperate frogs, warm frogs, and cold frogs. Now temperate frogs will spawn naturally in swamp biomes, whereas the warm frogs will spawn naturally in mangrove swamps. However, the cold frogs, on the other hand, can only to be spawned by the player in a cold biome, which leads me to talking about the next mob that's been added, which are tadpoles. That's right, tadpoles have also been added in 1.19, which if you didn't know, are baby variants of frogs. Now, tadpoles cannot spawn naturally, which means you can only obtain them by breeding two frogs with slime balls. Once the frog enters love mode, it will lay frog spawn on water. The frog spawn can take up to 10 minutes to hatch, but once they do hatch, they'll spawn two to six tadpoles. The tadpoles will then swim around aimlessly in water and can be hunted and killed by axolotls. Tadpoles aren't much safer on land either as they'll just flop around like a fish and quickly die as well. After 20 minutes, a tadpole will grow up into one of the three frogs depending on the biome it grows up in. This means in order to obtain the cold frog variant, you will have to pick up a tadpole in a water bucket and place it in a biome with a cold temperature. The next mob added in the 1.19 wild update is the addition of the Alley, which is this cute little guy that won the 2021 mob vote. So the Alley is a passive flying mob that can only be found in confined cages at pillager outposts and woodland mansions. Someone help them out please, they're trapped. Oh wait, I can do it. Now the Alley will just wander around aimlessly until the player gives it an item by right clicking on them. The Alley will then follow the player around trying to find dropped versions of the same item that it's holding. For example, I could give Blue Guy a diamond and they will pick up other drop diamonds and give them to me, which is pretty cool to be honest. The fourth and final mob added in the 1.19 wild update is a mob that everyone has been waiting for and that mob is the Warden. So the Warden is a hostile mob that looks like this and can be found in the new deep dark biome I mentioned earlier. The Warden is summoned when the player activates the new Skulk Shrieker blocks. Now you'll know when the Warden is coming as you'll be inflicted with the darkness effect while the scary guy emerges from the ground. The Warden has a whopping 250 hearts of health, making it extremely difficult to kill. If you didn't think it could get worse, you're wrong, because the Warden can deal a crazy 22 hearts of damage to the player on hard difficulty. This damage is enough to kill the player in one hit while wearing full netherite armor, so you should
should avoid its melee attack at all costs because you just know why. However, it is worth noting that the Warden is completely blind, meaning they can only track the player based on their movement. So just be careful moving around these guys and you might be okay. Oh, let's face it, you'll still probably die. Only joking, guys. Don't listen to me. I'm trash at Minecraft. A new light source block has been added in the wild update and it's known as the Frog Light. So the Frog Light comes in three different colours, which are purple, green and yellow. And they look like this. The Frog Light emits a light level of 15 and is obtained when a frog eats a tiny magma cube. Again, this is so sad to witness, so I'm just gonna lie down and pretend this feature doesn't exist. Anyways, the frog-like colour that's dropped will depend on which frog kills the magma cube. For example, if a cold frog kills a tiny magma cube, it will drop a green frog light upon death. The next feature added in the 1.19 wild update is the addition of a new generated structure known as the Ancient City. So the Ancient City can be found within the deep dark biome and they're primarily made out of deep slate, soul fire and more. Ancient cities can generate with chests containing lots of new unique loot such as echo shards, disc fragments and the new swift sneak enchantment. You can also find soul lanterns, candles and skeleton skulls which is the only mob head that can now naturally generate in the overworld, so be sure to pick these up. Other valuable loot within ancient city chests can include the other side music disc, diamond armor, and enchanted golden apples. The next item that's been added in the 1.19 wild update is the addition of a new music disc. That's right, music disc 5 has made its way into Minecraft and it shares a similar theme to music disc 11. However, the unique thing about music disc 5 is that you cannot find the disc itself naturally. Instead, the player must find disc fragments that are scattered about in ancient city chests. Once the player finds nine of the fragments, they can craft music disc five, making this the first craftable music disc in Minecraft. Another new item in the wild update is the addition of a new compass known as the recovery compass. So the recovery compass looks like this and is crafted with one compass and the newly added echo shards that are also found in ancient city chests. Once crafted, the recovery compass will point in the direction of where you previously died, making it very useful for finding your lost items, aka it's very useful for me. Get it? Because I die a lot in Minecraft. I don't know why I'm explaining the joke. You guys obviously got it. The 1.19 wild update has changed the way players can move with the new swift sneak enchantment. That's right, if you're lucky enough to find a swift sneak book in an ancient city chest, you can add the enchantment to your leggings. This enchantment allows the player to walk faster while they're sneaking. This is a great enchantment to avoid the warden while still being able to move around quickly. You know what, warden? You're not that scary, mate. Look at you. Uh? <clears throat> Anyways, let's move on. As with every update nowadays, the Minecraft title screen in 1.19 has been changed to reflect the wild update, and I have to say, it looks very lovely. In the 1.19 wild update, a change has been made to leaves. So prior to 1.19, leaves were not able to be waterlogged, which kind of made no sense. However, as of 1.19, you can see that all of the leaves I've placed are waterlogged, which acts as a nice little change when it comes to decorating your base. Boats have received another change in 1.19, and it's all to do with their textures. So prior to the wild update, the paddle colours for all the different boat types were the same. However, as of 1.19, a change was made to where the boat paddles now represent their respective wood colour, which is a nice little change. Before the 1.19 wild update, shields used to spin around in a very strange way when they were placed in an item frame. I mean, just look at this man, it looks so wrong. But don't worry, in 1.19, shields actually do spin around properly in the item frame, which is a nice little change once again. Anyways guys, my name is Anthony, I hope you all enjoyed the wild update, try not to kill any frogs please, and don't die to the warden. Okay, bye!